And welcome back to the Arkham Megalo. Let's take a look at the board and see that uh, we've kind of tapped out Final Fantasy XIV. There's still a couple of checks left, but they are in locations that are in uh, dungeons that are larger than Light Party, so more than four players. So I've concluded that those are probably excluded from logic, and I'm not going to be doing them unless I have to. So that's currently set to BK mode, but what did show up was the Gravity Boots for Symphony of the Night. So that's where we're going to be going next, and hopefully find some good stuff there, because uh, right now I'm kind of playing one game at a time, and hopefully that something shows up that uh, will unlock a little more. So let me go ahead and uh, press some buttons here. Oh. That. And there we go. Make sure it works and uh, get her started. Gravity boots. Okay. Also, that is really wide. I don't know what's going on there. Let me try something here real quick. Give me a second. There we go. That looks a little more normal. I don't know why the latest version of BizHawk is kind of really bad at giving me the, the correct resolution for things. Anyway. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff that we can get now. Let me bring up my tracker so that I can uh, find all of these things. Okay. Hey Zero, how you doing? I don't know if you're around for the little gag that I had at the beginning of, uh, like, just coming back from break. Oh, yeah, I had to step away, so as far as I know, everyone missed it. So I just kind of did it to nobody. That, that's that ain't great. Um, the checks go pretty good. Um, oh, that's the jewel of open. Even better, we can get pretty much anywhere in the in the normal castle now. This is beautiful. The very first check that I get in here is the jewel of open. As a tank. Twenty rupees. As a Stark. Guacamole toast. I think that's it in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, we did some Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, that is, as far as I'm aware, in BK mode at this point. Uh, but I was able to get uh, the gravity boots. The one problem with the gravity boots, though, is they're kind of cumbersome to use. You know, I think I already got the checks in this room as a Richter at the beginning of the game. I'll check again to be sure. Oh, maybe not. 
Uh, five levels of scholar. Five levels of red mage. Air? I don't know what that means. And a memory of this new world. I think I'm up to 15. Five more and I can clear Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, yeah, this is the case in uh, in Symphony of the Night. This is the case in Time Spinner as well. That's not right. Oh, I'm probably not even far enough to uh, to the left here. Yeah, if if you if you're able to do infinite bomb jump, then uh, that was definitely a big one to get in Super Metroid. I do not have that skill. I can do a couple of bomb jumps, but like, if you're asking me to to keep it going, that is not something that I can guarantee you do. This check is in logic. It requires me to be like right up against the edge here. There we go. A stick. Unfortunately, Claire already has a stick, but when he needs a stick right now is uh wait, there's still something up there? something on the wall, I guess. There we go. Lunch A. He's a cheat with a turbo controller, had a perfect rhythm of holding the rapid fire, and it would infinite bomb jump. Hey, if it works, it works. Actually, there is a check in the antechamber to Dracula's uh, throne room. God. This is hard. Also, that's not semi-solid. Cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. I think at some point I got a, uh, a controller that had turbo. I know I had one for the Nintendo. Oh, this is the chair. It's a Waddle Dee. Alright, that is all I can do here for now. I'm going to go find a warp zone. Yeah, I don't know if I had one for the Super Nintendo. I know I had one for the regular Nintendo. I do remember wanting the ASCII pad after seeing it in an, in an issue of Archie. Alright. Uh, this is fine. There's some checks I can get to from here. Open the thing. There we go. 
Max HP. Five of the monk. Enjoy knuckles. I feel like uh, things are not going to be too hard once I... Is that another stick? Oh, for exploration. But also, it's kind of hilarious. It's another stick. Oh, it's a Psyche for Meredith! I can fight a boss now. Uh, Meredith is available. In half turbo for Eleanor. I could I could see that being emitted because like you wouldn't normally need to turbo Eleanor. Like the instances where you would actually do that are pretty rare, I think. Like, the, the annoying thing with, like, multiple gravity jump is I think you have to have the double jump, and you have to burn the double jump in order to be able to gravity jump again. Like, and then you can just do it over and over again, but, like, you have to burn the double jump first. Which means, like, if you need to make a precision move at the end, you can't. Progressive Dungeon Unlock for CrossCode, that might actually open up some more of the game. It might not, though. I might need to actually get a shade before I can go anywhere else. Uh, that is not what I'm looking for. Hang on. I want the Universal Tracker. Uh, slot 7? No, that doesn't open up anything. Change it back over to slot 10. That will be important, for sure. It's just not important just yet. But yeah, there has been a lot of good stuff in Castlevania. Um... Oh, nice crit. That's not a thing, is it? Um, I think I want to go up first. It's also really hard to um, to get the the right timing for this. Oh God damn it! Like one or two checks up here. Five blows a warrior. Didn't need it. And then I can't continue over here because that gets all squeezed like that. I would need to. Uh, I would need bat form to get through that, or um, or fog form. Near patrol cave. All right. 
I think there's... yeah, there we go. Banish that. Don't think that unlocks anything. Wait. Okay, no. I was looking at the wrong place. So that should be everything in that little area. Allows us another shortcut. Incorrect room. Hang on. Okay, I have to go down and around, I see. But yeah, currently the only thing that I'm missing to go to uh, the Reverse Castle is um, because the, the rings do get randomized, but the one item that uh, acts as the, the Holy Glasses is what I'm looking for. path is going to be just run right through the Coliseum and over to the clock, uh, to the, well not to the clock tower, to the room of the big clock, which is not the clock tower. I forget what it's called. There is a save room right here, so seems like a good thing to do. Going in this direction is also going to allow me to go to the areas that we have not seen yet. Yep, now we go down here. Man, all of the big money drops. It's kind of absurd. Too bad I don't have anything good to do with that money. That's jewel poopy time. HP for uh, Team Arias. That is a wall of D. Mind refresh and a circuit charge upgrade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go this way.
and we'll be able to open this door. And also this one over here. We have the jewel of open, which means uh, really. which means I can open this door over here and hit that switch. Oh. go to this one first because it's a dead end, but it does have a check or two. Five levels of range and a waddle D. I'll check at the end of the stream whether uh, I have enough waddle Ds to uh, open things up. This is the path forward on the areas we have not yet seen. The underground caverns. Blood Chalice. I think that's the one that restores my health passively. I'm gonna be looking over at the map a lot right now because, like, I wanna make sure that I don't miss any checks. The Metal Declare. Ooh, we got a new elevator for Astalon. I think that probably takes it out of VK mode. Um, let's see. Slot. Eight. It doesn't do much, but it's three checks. So I'm going to mark Astalon is limited. I think this is probably a save point. Yeah. Save early, save often. Mash control us every three seconds, you got it. Hope ring. Okay, now that's uh, that is just an effect ring for time spinner. Does not give me anything, unfortunately. Lots of checks. Traveler's Cloak. Resist Holy. A Blue Door. Arm Cannon for Time Spinner. And uh, some crystals. Another save point over here. Weird that they would put two save points so close to each other. I wonder why that is. Oh, but what is this weird save point? Hmm. It didn't ask me for confirmation. I'm not sure what's going on. What is this fade out? Am I dying? Oh. 
Weird that we have like a regular stage music for a uh, for a boss. Anyway, this does give a check. For one thing, it gives a boss token. And also five levels of Red Mage. What a terrible night to have a nightmare. Oh wait, it's over. Not gonna worry about saving again, I don't think. That was a very easy boss. If we need to do it again, we'll do it again. anything that I know. Ah. Another save point there, that's cool. Ah, there's a thing down here. I can get a couple of the checks down here, but I can't get all of them. Do I have the Holy Symbol? I sure don't. That's a lie. Fifteen coins. One more check in magic. And there it is. And it's a golden coin for our buddy the fox. There are other checks down there, but they are currently not showing in logic, and uh, I don't know if it's because of just the health situation or if there's something else that's stopping me, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take my chances here. I'm gonna go back and save. Oh wait, there's a boss here? Oh yeah, there sure is. Oh, kind of. Oh no, the water's going up. What's going on? Also, I just sent something to, to Leah and I can't see what it is. Strength potion. Uh, oh, progressive overworld area unlock. Now that... Oh yeah. That opened up Maroon Valley and Bakikun. Didn't open up the next dungeon though, that's weird. Anyway, crosscode is available. And now we get to fight a boss over here. Life Max? And I think this would be the uh, holy symbol. 
which is the thing that uh, makes it so we don't take damage from water. Unfortunately, no, actually, is it? It might not be, because the water went back down. Upper Lamasea access. So we got some more stuff to do in uh, 14 now. Does Upper Lamas. I don't think Upper Lamasea um, leads into Mordona. But I'm curious to see. Oh, uh, case matters. Uh, no, that uh, does give me a couple of more things to do. But um, that doesn't lead to Mordona. Boss? What boss? I don't know, it just kind of melted. Yeah, I forget where Holy Symbol is in, um, in Vanilla. It's unloading the boss zone. There's only so much you can do with 4 megabytes of memory sometimes. Although one of the most fascinating games to me in the for the PlayStation is Vim Ribbon. Because like it is a game that is small enough that the entire game fits in RAM. So that's how you're able to just swap discs and play the game with your own music. I have Rebels of Dragoon. So have you played Good Bourbon Zero? Vib Ribbon. Ten arrows. No, yeah, it, it is a uh, a pretty simple, honestly, um, rhythm game for the PlayStation. But like I was saying, like it fits entirely in RAM. Which means you can play, like, you can put in your own music and play that. Ooh, this is gonna be tight, actually. Progressive so sword! I have sword now in Kirby. <laughs> Finally, the day has come. Hopefully I can not die. Ooh, that's uh, that's spicy. I think I want to go back and save. Or at least tag the save point. I'll probably save as well because just so I don't have to worry about that check again. Yeah, I think the only game where Kirby doesn't get sword at all is uh, Dreamland 2. I don't think he gets sword there. I think he uh, he gets cutter, and that's it. Uh, Dreamland 2. 
As of, of course, of the games where Kirby has abilities, which I think there's only a few where he doesn't. It's Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Pinball Land, and uh, Kirby Mass Attack, I think, are the only ones that don't have abilities. And Kirby's Dream Land has, like, a semblance of the ability system. Yeah, I think, I think, like, they wanted to have abilities from the first game. Like, they, they just didn't really have the resources, and, like, they, they didn't figure out yet that, uh, that Kirby was, like, one of their Forever series yet. Another Plastigon. Wanna see if that's 30. I know I keep switching the uh, the Universal Tracker all the time, but uh, I want to see that uh, that thirtieth one come up. Unfortunately, it is not. Uh, I don't like that this is the. Uh... <sighs> There we go. I want to press this. I'll give us another check. The I, I do remember actually the very first time that I played the first Kirby's Dreamland. I wasn't paying attention to the instructions closely enough. And I didn't know how to get past the first wall. So I almost wrote it off from the get-go. And I'm so glad that I didn't. And uh, this is the way down to the next area. I do wonder how many people have beaten extra mode with the custom mode set up for um, basically one life clear, like one life, one hit. Because that is something that you can set up. No sane person would do that, but I'm sure that it has been beaten that way. It's boss time, Mr. Guy. Oh, look at that. My familiar beat the boss. Slice! Unfortunately, I don't think I have something to... No, I have sword and ghost. That's not enough. I would need demon. Ow. I imagine given like enough time and opportunity, I could do deathless. I probably couldn't do hitless though. 
Okay, that was dark. Really would like to see five levels of Reaper come up though. And this is going to be a warp zone. Let's tag that open. Oh, let's not miss these checks. Five little machinists. Oh, poison trap for Lunaeus. I was thinking that I had disabled traps because, like, traps are interesting in a sink, but in an async, not so much. First down to Kirby. Curly fur into Leah. This one is a save, but if I go by here, there's an item over here. Two items. Healing meal and five levels of ninja. So there are three checks over to the right. Uh, those are not showing as in logic. I'm not really sure why, but uh, my guess is probably why. No circuit refill. I was a dragoon, a hand boy get. Hazard Bumper. Progressive Ranger. And a piece of art. So I can upgrade my Ranger now. I can use Gun more. I'm sure, I'm sure Jason would be thrilled. I do need to check out Jason's stream more often, honestly. Because he does put out some good stuff at least sometimes. Other times he's uh, he's a bit grumpy. It's not a blue door for um, Team Arias and 15 monies to a foxy box. Boss Heart Container. Okay, and there's another check that I have to go all the way around to get. Oh. That was weird. Please don't slice my uh, my CPU. I need that for video games. Death blade. Was that a rare drop? I guess it was. There's another save point here, but if I go past that. I will check over here. Which is a memory of a distant world. We're getting close to the end, actually. Hmm. 
And there is a boss over here. Oh, it's Legion, isn't it? Oh, it's Legion. I fought Legion in another Castlevania game earlier today. I was playing Order of Ecclesia, but like some of the end game and post game and stuff in that game is just really rough. But I decided to take a break and play Portrait of Ruin instead. Or as I like to call it, Castlevania Jonathan of Charlotte. Ah, treasure bumper. So that's everything that I can get down here for now. I'm not going to worry too much about saving until I get back to the entrance here. right by these. There are no more checks here, obviously. I still find it hilarious that the holy symbol in this game is just a smoker. That's all it is. It's like, thanks, the holy snorkel. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of the underground caverns. We are running low on checks, though. I will say that. But there are a couple of checks that were in logic, but were just really hard to get without proper, like, vertical, other than just the double jump. So we'll be able to get those. Going up. And keep going and keep on going up. And there's a big freaking door in your face and you're like. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So according to this, the check behind the waterfall is in magic.
here, rupees, show tell. Okay. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I thought I needed something, but uh, I think I was thinking. Uh, I, I don't know if it's Aria of Sorrow or Dawn of Sorrow that requires like you to push through the uh, the waterfall. Anyway, this is a good place for a hidden blade. It is kind of hidden, isn't it? Oh wait, there's still something. Here. Oh, right there. A seashell. Token? I think you wouldn't show up if I didn't. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. Level the Black Mage. And you're not gonna like drop me into the water now, are you? Because that'd be real rude if you did. Sage. Before going up there, I will go over here, back to the entrance, and there's a check or two over here. Yeah, I, I think I could still have like tanked my way to that check. It just would not have been ideal. It may not have been in the way for that matter. Step. Uh, no, I don't. I still don't have Ruby C, so I can't go there yet. But uh, that will be useful at some point. I do have Yansha. I have Yansha. I have Kugane. I'm just missing the Ruby C. I have access to the entirety of uh, of Offer. Kind of the one annoying thing about uh, how Final Fantasy XIV unfolds. It's like you get all of the zones except for the one that will actually connect it to uh, like between what you have and what you got.
Now there's a save point here. I'm gonna. S I don't think there was a boss up there, but I'm gonna save just for good measure. Never be too careful, right? I do find it weird that there is a save point there, though. That there was just nothing here but that one check. But yeah, it's like... It's like, um, let's say, well, I have, I have this, uh, this pass that lets me go to, like, New Hampshire and, uh, Vermont. All right, well, uh, show me, show me your main passport and, uh, you're good to go to those locations. It's like, main? Oh, fuck. to go there. Gets me the ring of Vlad. Okay. So now I think I'll go to that check, which is the one in the boss room in this zone. Sunhat. So Claire finally has the sun hat that she bought in uh, session 10. I don't know if you can do anything with a sun hat. Like, I don't know if it unlocks anything or if it's just an item you can get and wear and look cool.
Yeah, I'm looking at the tracker. It seems to just be an item that you can get to wear in the pool. Oh, yeah. Oops. I did it. There we go. And there are at least two checks up here that I need to get. And then we'll turn back and there's a couple more checks the other way. But we are running out of stuff. Now some of these checks were showing as in logic, but I wasn't really sure, like, it seemed really precise to actually get them. Like, I can get this one just fine. But I think that one up there, this one here, is in logic, but like, you can just barely not get there with a double jump. Like, it has to be like super precise. And that was for five levels of Samurai, so I never had to worry about it. Come to think of it, I should have done the stairway first, and then come this way. Oh, well, I never said I was an expert at routing. Sorry to intrude on bathroom time, Jewel. The world needs us. I'll never not hear it anymore. I mean, not that I've ever heard Jewel in the bathroom. That would be disturbing. But, uh... Just what she was implying. Here is a hazard bumper. I think there's only a couple of checks left. Get out of my way. Um... 
trying to determine if uh, the faster route would be to take a warp or to just walk in there. I think it would be a little faster to take a warp. Provided that this doesn't take too long. Oh. It is going to take 15 se uh, 45 seconds. Because it only opens on the even times. The even minutes. How about that weather? Oh, there's been a lot of weather. In fact, last night, just out of the blue, we just got hit by two consecutive thunderstorms. There, there was a lot of like heavy thunder activity and like the second storm wasn't as bad because it was more like in the sky than uh, like actually like I guess you could say like falling bolts all the way to the ground. But the second one, the, the, the first one did make my uh, my lights flicker a couple of times. Like not quite enough to take down the computer, but it did take down my monitor. Here's my stop. Uh, we're gonna go to the library first. There's one check there. And it might not be worth it, of course, but we're going to do it anyway, because there's no sense in uh, orphaning the check if I don't need to. I guess I could have also used a library card. I probably have at least one. Oof, that was close. And the check is, oh, there's three of them. Sushi. Um, hazard bumper. Wait, what? Oh, it gave me both of those two checks on, on the ground. So hazard bumper and effigy, both of those checks for that room, I guess. Yet another dark blade.
And the last couple of checks that I've seen... First we gotta go up to the top here. I said up to the top, there we go. This is where we go. Yes. Now there's a room. All the way up here, which I aligned myself perfectly for a try. With five levels of white mage. Fishing, max sand, and a motorboat key to Claire. Which uh, gives her one check. I guess I'll mark it. The short hike is limited. It's a key to an actual motorboat, so you'll get your mind out of the gutter. Um, well, let me check the tracker. Uh, slot 10. This marks there's still seven checks, well, technically six checks in logic. One of them is the jewel knuckles, and I still don't understand how to get that without. Um, without fog, uh, fog, ah, fog form, fog form, leg form. One of them is for exploration, so let's uh, mark some additional squares as explore here. Probably not a whole lot more than I can mark. Uh, what are N01 and N04? Zones. So I know one is uh, the outer wall. Is where we just work. You know, four is underground caverns. I don't know why this person couldn't just use normal zone names. Okay, so I know one jewel knuckles in your Aquarius. Don't know how to get those. N04, that's the underground caverns. Those are the, probably the checks at the very bottom on the right side. Um, it's apparently choosing to declare those as in logic. Uh, and cathedral port, oh, catacombs pork barn. Which zone is catacombs? Don't know. Oh, all the way down there. Okay, that's the pork bun. That's the spike hallway. I wouldn't be able to get there. That's where the spike breaker is in logic. Uh, in vanilla. I don't know if 
that's what it's pointing me to, though. It's definitely pointing me to this. For the pork button, but I'd like... Okay, the anti-venom and the life vessel there. Yeah, the tracker doesn't mark those as in logic, but I can get those. That's not a problem. But they're just underwater, so it's a slight problem, I suppose, but it's not a big deal. That one, that one, and that one, which I still don't know. And then Exploration 90 is still in logic, so it's probably just like a few more squares here and there that I would need to... I wonder how many rooms I need specifically. Like, the only way to see my percentage is to actually quit the game. Uh, I guess I can do that. Let's see how close I am. And also get to enjoy the the PlayStation splash screen. It's just really hard to beat. Eighty seven percent. There's still a ways to go to 90 then. It's not that much, but also like there's not a whole lot of the castle that I haven't seen. Um Okay, let me get the calculator here. So A20 divided by 0.87 times 0.9 if I if I round for safety's sake I would need about 850 rooms I don't know if I can squeeze 30 more rooms out of this let's see one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well, maybe. I would really have to like go everywhere though. So let's at least start with the checks that uh, the game says I can get, and that I know how to get. Uh, while I'm here, I may as well clear out some rooms.
Is that good enough? Nope. There we go. It's just reinforcing the compulsion of, like, I gotta fill in the entire map with I gotta fill in the entire map because there's a check behind that. Get out of there! I don't even know if I hit it or not, but probably not. No, I still hear it. Can you please fuck off? There we go. Oh, I got the squares anyway. the squares here. Oh, there's a bunch of squares actually in that room that I need to open up. This room, there is like another six. Perfect. Uh, I can't go to the left because I don't have a form that will. Uh, let me fit through that. So now we double back. Slash. It's so casual about it, too. Okay, that's a couple more rooms mapped. Uh, how many are we at? 832. I need to get to 850 to be safe. Yeah, there's a couple of rooms there. I will come back to that. Here's my stop. Oh, 
I'll go to the less dangerous one first, which is up here. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... There's more rooms than I thought that I hadn't, uh opened up yet. Checks that I need should be down here. How's that? A quest again. I'll check to see if that's enough when I get out of here. And another seashell. the pork bun and the exploration 90 item. Uh, so Questagon, that's slot 5. That's still not enough. Uh, the seashell is slot 6, which does not give her an additional check. Rather than go after the pork bun just yet, there's an there's an entire vertical corridor over here that I have a map. Also there's like this little spot here. A couple more rooms. Ah, really? There we go. No, oh, still still another one. This Making me sacrifice my health here just for one more square. I can't spare a square? There's no spare to square. There's no square to spare. Oh, what are those things? Whatever makes grammatical sense. Ah, uh, let's go tag a save point. Because I'm still water soluble. Pretty safe to say that this is going to be the last game of the night. Which just as well, really. I think next time we'll start up with CrossCode, because uh, we've opened up uh, Maroon 5. Actually, I shouldn't speak about Maroon 5 in a positive light. Those songs are... some of the lyrics are very questionable. Which really sucks because the melodies are good. As far as I'm aware, Adam Levine isn't a particularly good person either. Again, that is incomplete information. Fill in the blanks with your own research. That's just another dark shield. Okay. And that takes us to 843, and I think if I go down to get the pork bun. Uh, that might push me to 850. Uh, I might 
Is it going to be faster to find a warp zone? It's about equidistant right now, actually. Pick a, pick a direction. There we go. Somewhere I can hit you. There we go. Or that my living sword can hit you. That also works. I just really wish I knew how to get the jewel knuckle because like it's just been taunting me every time I do this uh, this randomizer. It's like, hey, look at this check that you can get. This is completely in logic. But like how? I can't pass through the grate. I've also tried bombing the grate, and that also doesn't work. So what do I do? All right. Let's get us a pork bun, I guess. Or try to, anyway. against my attacks. You also guard against my attacks. Fantastic. I don't know what just spawned in, but it doesn't sound pleasant. I thought there might have been like a passage to get around there, but no. So pray tell, how do I get this pork bun that is apparently in logic? Because I have to go through the, uh, the dark cavern for that, and I don't think I have the spike breaker. Oh, but I do have... I can't put on a cloak that I have been kind of neglecting to do because I kind of forgot. Also, I guess the, uh, the, the accessories are not randomized, because Sunstone improves status after sunrise. I guess it's just the other randomizer does that. But it's kind of sad that, the, uh, that I have the Sunstone. I really need the Moonstone, because like I'm never going to play this randomizer during the day. 
Although I think it's it's not based on system clock because there is no system clock. It's just based on um, uh, on game clock. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, good. I accidentally equipped the pizza. I don't know what was equipped there before. It might have been a dark blade. Zero, I don't suppose you were paying more attention than I was at uh, what weapon I had in that hand? Eh, don't worry. Um, honestly, I think the Dark Blade is probably the best thing that, uh, like, the best one handed sword I have right now. It might have just been the Dark Blade, too. But I was looking for the Spike Breaker. I don't have that, do I? I most certainly do not. Do I have anything better than the God's Guard? I don't think I do. I have Luminous. So the opposite of the Dark Blade. Got it. Okay, where is Luminous? Oh, it's not as strong anyway, so I guess it's a blessing in disguise that I accidentally equipped a different sword. Actually, the Mavlin, the Mavlin sword is even better. Anyway, this place is just full of spikes, and uh, there ain't no dealing with that right now. But I should have gotten actually the um yeah, I got the exploration token, I got a gold plus to gotten. Is that enough? Cause I don't know how many I have exactly. And the answer is apparently not. Anyway. I got my exploration. I'm gonna go save, and I think that will be good for today. While I am taking us to the save point, I will say that I kind of forgot to, um to upload the last three sessions until yesterday. So all sessions except for this one at this point have been uploaded and they'll go up uh, one per day until they're all up again and then I'll probably forget to upload this one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna double check this, slot 10, and um, I have three checks. I have the pork bun that I very much cannot get, and I don't know why, unless it's pointing me to a different one? Is there another one somewhere? Not to my knowledge. As far as I know, it's just this one, so maybe it's just faulty logic that can happen. What's not faulty logic is behind the grate for the jewel knuckle and the mirror queers, which I have no idea how to get. If anyone can figure it out, please let me know, because I have no idea.
But uh, let's go take a look at the board before we leave out here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mark Symphony of the Night as being BK, which works now. Um, let's do our due diligence. We did get one treasure bumper and bumper stickers, so it is available but limited. Uh, Meredith Skyden did receive a Psyche, so I can go fight a boss now. Um, Link to the Past is not particularly easy to check, but I didn't see any items there that uh, would give me any sort of progression. Uh, slot 4, the Universal Trackers give me a bunch of checks, but also it's a little confused because um, it's uh, getting the state of um, flooded areas wrong. So that one stays as BK Tunic, slot 5, still only really has the quarry. Slot six. I did get the uh, the boat challenge, so that's at least one check, and maybe I have enough enough money to buy a golden feather from the tough bird salesman. Uh, slot seven. That's cross code, and that is very much open now that uh, I got that progressive uh, zone unlock. Slot 8, which is passed along, got a few more checks, but not really a whole lot there. Slot 9, it's Metroid Zero Mission, has gained no checks today. Uh, slot 10, we just be Kate. Slot 11, we don't have enough Waddle Dees to go fight a boss. We do have 5, 10, 15, 17 checks, so there's still a chunk of checks left there. And uh, slot 12, Final Fantasy 14, has definitely gotten some uh, some new areas, so I'm going to open that up again. So there you go. That is how the Archimegalo stands at this point. 1283 checks. We're almost halfway in checks, which means we're almost two thirds of the way through this multi world. That's basically how it works. Um, we should be able to clear something soon, I think. I don't know what. Ah, uh, I don't know what's closer to clear. I know Final Fantasy XIV has like 16 memories at this point. So um, that's that's getting close-ish, but there's still a ways to go there. Uh, if Tunic can get just a few more Questagons, maybe just one or two more would be enough to uh, to unlock the Holy Cross. And really, if I can get a sword from any source, then um, we'd be able to probably like dive into the quarry, probably. Um, I forget what I'm missing in Time Spinner. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it'll it'll come to me when uh, when it happens anyway. Man, this is this is hard to like keep straight. Like I I honestly don't know how Arborelia does so well at these, but also she has a lot more randomizer experience than me in general. So that definitely helps. <clears throat> Just kind of pondering. Uh, I am going to hint, 
for the holy glasses, because that is what's needed to get to the reverse castle. So the holy glasses are in library storage room chest 3 in Linnaeus's world. Library storage room chest 3. Do I, do I, okay. That makes it pretty clear to me I don't have enough vertical. I think I have the succubus hairpin, but I would need the light wall or the um, Teleria attachment in order to get up there, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, that, that would have to be it. So I would need the Teleria attachment, or Light Wall, or the Celestial Sash. Any of those three will let me get the Holy Glasses so I can go to the uh, Reverse Castle. So let me hint. We're going to keep this going for a second here. We're not going to go for much longer, I'm just going to do a couple of hints. Uh, slot four. And, uh... I'm gonna hint for the Teleria attachment. Item does not... Oh, do I, do I have a fast seed? Then I should be able to get up there. What's what's stopping me? Maybe I just don't have access to the present? Is that it? There we go. And that is yet another item that is stuck behind A Link to the Past. The modern warp beacon is an ether tablet. So I really need to get Link to the Past open. What do I need for that? Because, like, I don't have a whole lot that I can do. Hmm. just kind of want to think this over. So I'm going to open... Sorry if I'm extending this a little bit. It's like I, I want to ponder this while it's still fresh in my mind. So what items do I have? Okay. So what am I missing? I have a level 3 sword. I'm not in need of a sword. So what do I need? And the thing that would give me the, the most breadth of items is um, is Dark World Access. I have the... I technically have Dark World Access. So I have the hammer and I have the glove. That's enough to get me there. 
but then I'm stuck in bunny mode and I'm playing this async by myself, so I don't have a way to get the super bunny. So I think my last hint for today is going to be the moon pearl. Oh, I'm still on the wrong slot. The Moon Pearl is at GBC. I forget which one is GBC. Hidden Waddle D3. Is that in logic? Let's open a manual client. You need to get, actually get the name of because uh, you have to put in the the manual game ID before connecting. It's kind of weird. So GBC is Gathering of the Beast Council, and that's too far in. I would need more waddlies. I currently have one hundred and eleven. I can't be that far off from the next boss. Just wish I knew exactly how many I needed. Man, this stage has 17 waddledees. Uh, 17 checks. There's a couple of other stages that have 17. There's one stage I haven't gotten to, it still has 20. But yeah, Gathering of the Beast Council is right by like the end of the game, because like that's uh I'm seeing a uh, a boss rush happening in those. But I think I only need like in order to get there, I only need to beat one more boss, I think. So once I get enough Waddle Dees, then I can get that in motion. Anyway, uh, I think I have uh, gone on for long enough here. I'm 10 minutes over trying to come up with a battle plan. Oh man, this is rough though. Let's push the end of stream button. And uh, yeah, so that is going to do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank you to Zero, Grim, J-Pop, and Steffi for uh, hanging out in chat. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more group archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, round wheel to our next Archimegalo stream. And next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, we're going to be starting with CrossCode and uh, hopefully find something good to just pull this all together. I feel like we are on the verge of a breakthrough. It's just going to take some more work to actually get there. So hopefully we can get there in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.